Hi, I'm Doug Simon with DS Simon Media, and I'm here with a special guest, Ariel Nathanson, VP of Consulting at Full Picture, and they're winners in the Big Apple Award category of Reputation and Brand Management. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, your campaign was especially noteworthy. It involved a song called Strange Fruit. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, the, the song Strange Fruit was an original protest anthem from Billie Holiday, and um, it all tied together with a project that the Equal Justice Initiative spearheaded called Lynching in America, where they wanted to help consumers, everyday people, understand the connection between the different kinds of institutionalized um, inequalities that exist today and the fact that there was legal lynching in America not too long ago. Um, and so Strange Fruit became this piece of musical activism and with the support of Google, supporting Equal Justice Initiative's work, and um, the support of Andrew Day, who's a Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter, we created this, this piece that has gone on to live on and, and sort of be a, um, a, a work of art in and of itself that can galvanize new people and get new conversations going. Yeah, now that was part of a larger campaign that included the creation of a museum exactly. related to lynching in Montgomery, Alabama. What were some of the challenges you faced in trying to get this message to the public? So the, the song in and of itself was almost like a solution to the challenge, which is how do you get people to talk about lynching in America? It's not easy. It's a, you know, it's, it's a very, um, not to say contentious, but it's a hard thing for people to talk about. So music was the answer to that, because we can, music is sort of a universal language. We can all experience something viscerally when we hear music. Um, and there was obviously the past connection with Billie Holiday and the reason she, you know, wrote the song and performed the song originally. Um, and so it was sort of us rising to the challenge of getting people to talk about this project. Yeah, now you talked about success, obviously, in your award submission. Can you maybe share with the viewers some of what were the success parameters and how you yeah. managed to achieve them? So for us, we wanted to make sure that um, the, the right people were talking about it. So it's not just that people are talking about it, it's that the right people are talking about it. For us, we wanted to get mainstream mainstream consumer awareness of the project because the people who are already raise their hands to say I support equal justice initiative like they're already right. it's it's who else can we get involved and so you know we um, we helped partner the right people so that Andrew could perform the song perform the song at the on the stage of the global citizens festival so it's huge stage um, and we invited a ton of top tier press who came out and supported. We had, um, we actually had a launch with Billboard, a beautiful piece, and we invited people.com. So, so people, um, a measure of sex, a success for us was a people.com writing about lynching in America, because that might not have, ne you might not have seen the, the bridge there right. unless you're talking about the human interest side, but it was her performing the song, um, as herself as an artist, but also as an ambassador for the work that the Equal Justice Initiative was doing. So some of the key elements to be able to grab media were the strategy up front and then right. the ability to execute. Right. Any advice you'd like to leave people who are watching on how to sort of put together a successful campaigns, especially on topical issues that's become so much more prevalent and important as consumers increasingly look to brands to be socially active and take yeah. corporate social responsibility to the next level, even yeah. if they want to stay below the surface no, of that. No, it's interesting you said the, the CSR point. We were just talking about this internally, that like in this today, unless you have a strategy on how you're giving back or what your mission is, it's really a point of entry for consumers. You need to have it. So you need to figure out what you stand for, and then you need to figure out who you want to tell what you stand for. And if you want to do that through the media, you need to figure out who's, read, who's who, you know, who are the readers? What's your demographic? Right. So a lot of times we sort of reverse engineer, okay, if our North Star is um, reaching moms across the country, we need to figure out what they're reading, who they're talking to, and then we need to create a cultural media moment that resonates with them. Yeah. If you try and, you know, you have to have the, the meat, potatoes, and the vegetables. That's okay. the right analogy? Sure. Yeah, okay, that works. we'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta have that or you're yeah. not enjoying a full meal. Well, right. thanks so much. Congratulations Thank you so much. on your success. Thank you. And it's great to have you here. Likewise, thank you.